Okay. Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we have this Ibero-American problem, which for every positive integer n, defines t sub n to be the index of the smallest triangular number divisible by n, and it wants to determine um, something about this function. So, like, the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the flavor text. We don't really care that it's triangular number, we just want to write tn, tn plus 1. Okay, so then da da. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna say is like if n is odd, uh, then t n equals n works. So n works. My suspicion is the most like most n will work except for a few. The other thing is if n has a fact prime. If p divides n, where p is an odd prime, um, let's see. Can I use a variable that isn't t? I'll just, I don't know. Okay, 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 we'll rename the variable. We'll call it an. So it's like anything up to two and I think I want to do something where like I I split the prime factors somehow. So we can try to like let a n equals like two n over p and times some k. Yeah, I, my feeling is that this is Chinese domain to theorem. Um, if n is a prime power, actually, I want to try prime powers. If n is like, well, even if n is just prime, um, actually, primes are odd. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I want to. I want to clear out all the factors of p. So if p to the e divides n. And then we clear all the factors of e, p, and then see if hmm. the other route I could take is try to let hmm. Yeah, like the point the, the point behind the problem is going to be I want to Oh, we're taking mod 2n, right? So it's sort of like something either Let let me be there's a map. Sorry. There there is a there's a flip-flop map. So if x works, then so does Minus one, two n. Minus one minus x. Is that correct? So if x works, then so does two n minus one minus x, and this promises me that I will have a way to. Yeah, these guys have average less than average, less than m over two. Um, so the only way we fail is if the only solutions modulo two n are zero and two n minus one, because any other thing I can I can use, right? Let, let me pick a number to verify that actually. This is, T 
10. Yeah, I think I think this is fine. So the only way we fail is the solutions from 0 to n or 0 and 2 and minus 1. And the number of solutions is 2 to the... By Chinese remainder theorem, for every prime power, I pick either a n or a n plus 1 to be divisible. So the number of solutions is 2 to the number of primes dividing n. So I... Wait, is the answer just powers of 2? Okay, I guess that's it. That's the correct answer, right? I didn't mess up. I, I'm a little paranoid, because this feels too short. Okay. Okay, we did it. All right, that's it. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get a use mode quickly. That might be like about the fastest stream solve. <laughs> I told you Ibero was easy this year. Yeah, if that was problem two, I think I believe that. <laughs> that's probably the fastest solve we've gotten on stream.